Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the Anarchist Mod. My voice kind of died there for a second. I was trying to say my name, and my throat was like, Nope, you're actually gonna strangle yourself a little bit. Anyways, welcome back to the Anarchist Mod. Another beautiful night here in scenic treehouse baseland. We're ready to start another adventure today. It's been a couple of days since my last video, and I kind of like lost a little bit of track of time there. Was working on a couple of things for Core Keeper, and I just kind of like, you know what? Maybe I'll just take a little bit of a break from videos for a while, because it's kind of getting to be a little bit much, you know what I mean? But we're back yet again, that's all that really matters, and I've got a couple of things to discuss with you folks before we get off into the adventure today. So the first thing you'll notice is I've got myself a new colorful shield. Uh, kind of looks like a little bit of a light blue thing going on right here. Zoom in just a little bit here. It's called the Shield of Celestials. This thing is made out of the Shield of Cthulhu, Essences of Celestia, a little bit of Shadow Scale and Tissue Samples, and the Essence of Anarchy right there. A little bit of an upgrade, minor improvements to all stats. Same defense as the Shield of Cthulhu, just gives you a little bit of a blue puff whenever you dash, and kind of gives you a little bit more stats, which is pretty nice. Another thing that I got myself was a bundle of balloons since I ran up to the sky and I discovered something interesting from the clouds. You see, to make the, uh, not the cloud in a balloon, I think I actually have a couple of these right here. Um, let's see. Snow clouds. Yeah, it's pretty cold up there. Literally just, uh, clouds that are like raining clouds, but they snow instead. And all you have to do to make these things is literally just make them at a sky mill in the ice biome, which we may end up going to today. But you need them to craft yourself the Anklet of the Wind, which I need to upgrade my boots, which I haven't done yet, but I'm probably gonna do that. And, uh, it also lets me make the blizzard and sandstorm in a bottle, so I got those done, got the balloons from the party girl, and now we've got ourselves a bundle of balloons, and I got upgraded the warding. Can I make that Anklet of the Wind right now? I don't remember, uh, let me see real quick right here. What do I need to make the thing still? What am I missing? Oh, is it swiftness potions? Is that it? Well, I can make those. I got plenty of stuff for swiftness. I'll just make a whole bunch of them right there. All right, let's see now. No, I'm still not able to do it. What am I missing? Is it stuff from the jungle? I'm just missing a couple of vines. That's literally it. Okay, well, we'll do that later. I'll run over there and we'll deal a little bit of farming. We got to explore a little bit first anyway. Um, I'm actually just gonna head off over there right now. I got a bit of a distance to travel, but um, on the way there Here's a little bit of a thing that I can take a pit stop in I have expanded my base a little bit and by expanding my base a little bit I mean I put uh, a little bit of a tree over here, and I think it looks a little bit goofy um, And weird shaped, but you know what it is what it is listen It's a place for the dryad to live and uh, I need the the planter boxes So I don't really care about anything else, but it's all right. It's it's all good a little pit stop there, but in addition to that, I finally got some stuff from the Corruption, or the Crimson, I mean. Uh, the Brain did really, really did not want to drop the journal entries over there, uh, for some reason. I don't know why. Gonna hold in that knowledge, you know what I mean? God forbid I get to do a little bit of light reading. But, uh, I'm gonna leave this up here for a second. I don't really feel like reading through all this stuff right now, but, uh, basically, Big Brain bad, and it's, uh, there's a little bit of a connection between the Corruption and the Crimson. It's kind of interesting. The Crimson is just the Corrupted Corruption, I think? I'm gonna leave that up there for those of you that want to read it. Same thing for the journal entry about the Crimson itself over here. Dismembered by the Lost Heroes of Terraria. That would be the people that, I guess, beat Cthulhu up, I suppose. And the Brain of Cthulhu's fancy drop right here, the Aorta. It's kind of very similar to the Skull. It kind of does something with health and damage reduction rather than mana and mana consumption, which is pretty nice. I may actually end up using it. Probably gonna end up throwing it on here and swapping it out for the blood coagulation because as nice as Icor is, it is pretty rare that it actually procs on anything. But uh, yeah, there's that. I'm gonna put this stuff in here right now, clear an inventory space, and we're gonna go try to egg down the, uh, the Queen Bee right now. We have a little bit of a vengeance at hand, and as you can see, I've already built myself an arena over here and uh, put a little base in, built this up the same way I built up all the others, some sunflowers, some campfires, some heart lanterns. Should be pretty good to go. I don't have any honey over here, but there was a bee thing, a little beehive all the way over here, and I kind of mined it a little bit already accidentally because I forgot that it was on Vein Miner, but we're not gonna talk about that. Made myself a bunch of abominations, so we're gonna try to take her down over here. Also, fun fact, take a look at this guy. There, look at this. You see that? Look at that. Baby zombie? and catch it in a bug net. How cruel. I don't know. I'm really kind of upset that I can't put that in a box. You know what I mean? There should be a baby zombie uh, terrarium that I should be allowed to make. All right, that's something that I should be allowed to do. All right, these guys are what we're looking for right now. Let's explode some people here. Wipe out some man eaters. Got to get a few more vines and may as well grab a couple uh, stingers while I'm at it. I'm sure those are going to be valuable. If I can get a bezoar, that'd be pretty handy because I imagine poison is going to play a pretty critical role 
in this situation over here with the old bee. I need to use some of my homing stuff in over here. I'm having a little bit of trouble hitting these fine fellows. Oh, there we go. Ancient cobalt shards. I'm pretty sure I need those for a couple of things. Not really sure what all exactly. Jungles. Jungle. Jungle slumber potion. That's right. A little bit of trouble with my speaking there for a second. All right. Come on. Give me the monsters to murder. I need them. It's very important to me. I need to murder. Another little house down here. Maybe I can find an anklet over here without having to go looking. Oh, that's a cloud in a bottle. It's not at all what I wanted, but I'll take it. I guess I don't really have a choice. You know, I guess a little bit of light exploration probably couldn't hurt. I've got nothing else really to do today. I may be going over to the tundra, like I said. Though, I have been kind of feeling a desire to kind of make the videos a little bit shorter. I don't know. I, I'm not... I know you guys probably don't all really mind the 20-minute video or anything like that. But I don't know. I just kind of... I like them being shorter because they're a lot easier to edit. So, I don't know. Depending on how long this takes, I may just cut it short and, uh... Just do a little bit of tundra exploration in the next one. It looks like there's a couple of mod bosses to take down after Queen Bee, so... I could have a mod boss episode. I've also not <laughs> built any kind of arena over there in the ice biome to deal with this next guy, the Frost Cell. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, that's that's just gonna be annoying. <laughs> so maybe, that's literally my whole motivation. Honestly, I, I want to kill the boss, but I didn't make an arena, and I don't want to die a hundred times, embarrassingly. So you know what? I'm just gonna skip that. <laughs> it's fine. It's alright, we're gonna get there eventually, that's what matters. It's not about when you do it, it's about that you did it at all, okay? Anyways, I think I've got enough of these uh, vines right here, should be good to go. Let's do a little bit of poking around, I kinda wanna explore a little bit. I never found a lizard temple yet, and that's definitely gonna be something I wanna do later. Alright, let's see what we got down here. Lots and lots of chests, I've noticed. that this, uh, this mod does not skimp out, or maybe it's the world generation this time around, but it does not skip out on chests. And we got some feral claws, not exactly what I was looking for. Looks like these things are kind of partially 1.4e as well, because they give auto-swing for most melee weapons. That's pretty good. I like that. Kind of invalidated by a lot of modern mods these days, but uh, that's okay. It's fine. We like that little upgrade there. I feel like I've already done all of my exploration over here in the jungle, because we kind of did do a lot of exploring around earlier. Like, in the second episode of the Let's Play, we were already over here, so... I don't know, is there even a point in this? Going and looking around over here? I've kind of already done did seen it all. I forgot I took my thing off. Okay, well, time to go. And with my near-death experience there... Carly, Carly, hello. My goodness, I'm good, but not that good. Well, you did it anyway, didn't you? So I'd say pretty good job. All right, deposit all that. Let's, can I make the anklet now? All right, so we got this. We're gonna take this in there, throw the boots in. Now we can really upgrade our runners here, our speed, it will be increased dramatically. There we go, lightning boots, frost spark boots, flame spark boots, my god. Now those are some boots, and I upgrade those to terra wings here eventually whenever I get the ancient debris, the ancient debris. Look at that speed. Look at the speed right there. I can't actually see it yet. Hold on a second. We need the speed. There we go. A little bit of fall damage there. Look at that. Oh, so fast. So what do we got here for the actual effects here? 8% increased movement speed, ability to walk on water, honey, and lava, immunity to fire blocks, and 7 seconds immunity to lava, and slow fall. Interesting. So I've got slow fall? <laughs> Evidently not. Oh, I gotta, like, actually jump through all that. My god, I've got a lot of jumps. <laughs> I have got so much, like, I could soar across the sky over here right now. I love it. I don't even really need the bundle of balloons now. I feel like I got a double jump already. I don't know. I kind of like the ability to hop. I do notice, however, that a lot of my accessories are purely defensive. So, like, I'm not really dishing out all that much damage. The uh, occultist class is pretty strong, though, so it's probably going to be fine. I said walk it off. I can't believe you. She's so mean to me. Did you guys see that? That's so not nice. Helen was never this mean, and we need to get her here. All right. So, uh, we're gonna throw her off the side of the tree as soon as possible. Alright, folks, we're back here on our little granite biome. Let's set our spawn point, and we should be good to go here, honestly. Um, I got all my necessary components. I think we're about as powered up as we could ever be. We've got the right stuff on here. I think we're good to go, you know, honestly. Weird how there are so many near-surface granite biomes in this generation. Like, look at them all. There's one, just on this screen alone, look at how many there are. There's one, two, three, four, five. I, I don't see it, like, hardly any marble. There's a marble biome, too. And there's another one. Actually, never mind. They're everywhere. One down there. Every single marble and granite biome is within, like, 100 blocks of each other. It's weird. But anyways, folks, let's head on into this business here and try to take down the queen bee. I've got lots and lots of abominations that are really easy to come by. So if I have to, you can always just fight her again. All right, folks, let's do this. Let's actually hit our buffs real fast here. Let's just attack. 
Should be pretty easy to do this, to be honest with you. There we go. I have an idea. I have a theory here. I need to wait for her to go to her, uh, whatever it is, her secondary phase or whatever, where she shoots the bees. I need her to shoot the bees at me. Come on, shoot the bees at me. Shoot your babies at me. I require murder. What is that? Oh god, what is this thing? Beehive. Oh my god, she spawns beehives. Oh no! Looks like that was dealt with pretty handily. I really should have got a banner. If I'd have known she was gonna do that, I would have got a banner for it. Yeah, this is definitely a little bit of justice right here. You're not so tough whenever you're not able to hit for 52,000 damage out of nowhere. Where's all your goblin friends now? I always knew that the mobs in this game were conspiring against me. I already knew that. Is she gonna do it this time? Come on. Shoot your babies at me. I have a, I have a, something I want to test. It involves my smacker. Oh god, here we go. Alright. Oh, it works! Oh my god, the explosions! Ah, it does work. I can't do that very often, but it does work like I thought. I figured with the, uh, what's it called? The Massacre's ability to cause explosions with every single one of those bees just kind of spawning in rapid fire, I could just make each one I hit do a bunch of explosions, and it worked. I feel like there's a better way to do this. Oh god, we're gonna do it again. Oh, look at all the health just disappear. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there was a queen bee there once. Oh god, now she's starting to get fast. She's starting to get angry. I've murdered a lot of her babies. Hey, it wasn't my fault. The Crimson's fault. You know, I, I'm just swinging the hammer. You're the one who's getting hit by it. <laughs> I like that. It's not my fault you got hit by that hammer. I didn't know you were going to stand in the way of the hammer whenever I swung it at you. Look at all these projectiles coming at me. Look at these laser accuracy right here. I love it. All right, come on. Give me another swing and a miss here. There we go. Whatever. Hit me. I don't care. You're done. You're dead. You're done for. You're goodbye. Goodbye. Actually, the ability to inflict Icor on her actually is kind of helping out a little bit, because I know in the later stages of her fight, she uh, gets a lot more defense and takes a lot less damage. Thanks to the Icor, it doesn't matter. There we go. Took her right down. We get anything of value from her. I'm hoping to get that fancy drop right away. Did we get it? I don't know if we did or not. It doesn't look like it. I don't think we did. Well, let's see what else we got from her either way, though. All right. So we got bee wax to make anything fancy. Honey scent. Someone's a beehive at the cursor location. I'm imagining that's uh, very similar to what her fancy ability was. We've got our bee pants, hive one. we got a bulky beekeeper. Nothing really fancy there. Hive pack, not material. Nutritious honey provides intense health regen. Healing potions are 10% less effective. Interesting. I use that to make the scroll of light and dark. Not too far away from me, and I want to make that thing. Okay, sure. Wow, I got a whole platinum from that? That is crazy. I kind of want to fight her again, see if I can actually get that thing from her. Also notice that I didn't actually get the, uh, what's it called? That journal entry from her. I didn't get that. All right, here we go. Let's get up here and whack her with this thing again. Just blowing them right up. Get a lot of essences of anarchy. That's another thing. By the way, I've noticed about these little bees right here. If you murder the hive over there like I did, right next to the uh, the mushroom biome over there. If you murder the hive right next to the mushroom biome, all the little bees over there will actually drop you mushroom spores. So thanks to that, killing them all in the right spot, well, while I was standing in the right biome, I think I ended up with like 400 mushroom spores or something like that. So that's something good to know. If you find a beehive in the early game, very close by to a uh, mushroom biome, or better yet, even make a mushroom biome next one. I know that's a lot easier to do in 1.4 than 1.3, but you can farm that stuff out really quickly. Anyways, let's wrap this up. I got that Hornet banner now, so the future fights are going to be a lot easier either way. There we go. Second one down. Did we get it? No, we did not. What a shame. Still getting lots of stuff from that, though. A whole platinum for that? That's pretty good. I have that debuff on me anymore? It doesn't look like I do. I guess I dealt with that. The uh, matriarch thing or whatever. Still get it whenever we spawn it, I think, right? Or maybe not? Oh, well, I thought I did. Never mind. All right, one more time. I'm just going to skip through this real fast. And then we'll see if... We get it from her this time. Not even a journal entry, though. I'm kind of disappointed. Actually, you know what? The thing that I get from her might not even be that great. I imagine it's probably summoner-oriented. All right, third time's a charm. Did we get it? Oh, it doesn't look like it. That's a shame. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, we did. Okay, hold on a second. Let me pick it up. Get rid of a hive wand. There we go. And I, it's exactly pretty much what I figured it would be. It looks like increased minion damage. Yep, it is a uh, more summon-oriented thing. But it is a piece to this puzzle nonetheless, so we're going to grab it. Alrighty, let's head on back up here, set our spawn point again, and deposit all this stuff. I don't really think there's anything that I need in particular. Honey balloon, doesn't look like it. Uh, bee cloaks, not a material. Sweetheart necklace, I can use that to upgrade to the shadow veil. So there's kind of a point to that, so we'll upgrade that. I got a bee gun, recall potion, beeswax, none of that's really valuable. There's extra spell slots. So there's a little bit of a... Couple things different about this, it looks like. There's an upgrade to the Hornet staff as well. Oh, so there's an end game even for the summon weapons. That's pretty good. I like that. I do like Terra whatever items there are for this. I like it. Still didn't get a journal entry though, but we'll get that eventually. Let me make the uh, Eternal Bee. Get out of here. What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing, man? Baby zombie. Get out. 
Actually, you know what? I should have let him kill you. That would have been a lot nicer. Then I could have potentially gotten Helen. And the Anarchy Bee, we've got that. And there's the item to make the Frost Cell. That'd be the, uh... The next boss we're going to be facing off against. But like I said, I think I might just end up cutting this short. You know, it might be a little bit disappointing after such a long wait. I know, maybe you were hoping for a longer video, but I kind of just want to do a shorter one this time. Just a little bit easier to edit. I can get them done faster, get them out faster. You know what I mean? But like I said, I think I'm going to be caught on an episode there, folks. Very quick fight against the Queen Bee. Very easy. A uh, couple interesting ways to deal with her, I suppose. I feel like revenge has been achieved by me. So you know what? We're happy with that. All right, folks. So like I said, I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.